Hi there, this is Danny Marie with Marlon May playing Blank Dream again. I'm just going to keep playing from where I left off last time. Uh, so if you ever do notice what I'm wearing, I'm wearing the same thing as last time. And I think I did that for that too, but I I can't remember. But, so, we finally went through the Crack Smile dinner party, which took me quite a while to figure out. A little frustrating. I had to cheat just a little bit. <laughs> But that's okay. We all cheat just a little bit. And I came down here and I saved after getting a key from one of the guests uh, to go through the door on the bottom left. Ooh, and there's a mirror. Okay. And shows our reflection. So that's nice. Let's look in. Ten years ago at home. So she was like six or something? All right, does show me a little younger. A familiar place appeared before Mashiro's eyes. Oh, Mashiro, I'm still getting ready for your party, so wait there a little longer. Don't bother your dad and grandpa too much. Okay, so that's her mom. Looks like a big bottle of wine or hot sauce, whichever you guys like better. A kitchen sink, it comes in handy with a spray nozzle. Wash hands? Oh, you washed your hands without telling me telling you? Oh, never mind. Oh, you washed your hands without me telling you? Make sure you to dry them off. Do I have to go manually dry them off? No? Okay. An electrical outlet. Am I supposed to kill myself with that later? Your daddy? <laughs> Been a while since you've seen grandma, grandpa, huh? Been a while since you've seen grandpa, huh? You were so small then. Maybe you don't remember. Be sure to say hi to him. Miss Shiro, you've gotten big. It's me, your grandpa. Only saw you when you were this little. Might as well be the first you've seen me, eh? Turning six today? Once you get into elementary, you'll learn all kinds of stuff. Happy birthday. That's so sweet. Okay, why did you not see her at all? That seems strange unless there's something going on or he lives really, really far away. Miss Cheryl found tweezers in the back of the drawers. Let's take them. Are we gonna stick it into the outlet? Is that what's gonna happen? Tweezers. Let's just look around the house just a little bit more. A TV. It doesn't get much use at at this home, so a small one suffices. Okay. I said hello. Just to be clear, Dad, today only. I know. That's enough for me. For the rest, you can do as you'd like. How's it going with your wife? She's no longer an Isui. She won't have anything to do with me now. And what about Tamaki? Doubt she wants me to contact her, even if it involves money. Nothing. There is too much I want to say, but today is a happy day. Let's knock it off for Mishiro's sake. As you please. But Grandpa has something to do with something. So, do we have anything else to do? I guess that's it. That's it. Okay. So let's stick these tweezers into the socket. Yeah. Okay, we died again. Broke the glass of the mirror. And we're back here. Dot, dot, dot. Mishiro came too, again standing before the mirror. Though she still felt her muscles stiffening, there was no sign of numbness in her limbs. Yes, I was only a child with three family members. My mom was Chika, my dad was Shinji. And on my sixth birthday, my grandfather Rinzo came to visit. 
It's a fairly distant memory, but somehow I feel like that was a really fun day. I didn't see any fun. Looked pretty boring to me. Just as Mishiro regained a piece of her memory, she felt as if she had lost something important. Hopefully I'll figure out, out what that means soon. Save again, because always save. Uh, and there might be people still after me when I go through this door. <laughs> Fudge that laugh. That laugh is really creepy. I did not get to the door, but I'm glad it let me go through the door. Damn! That oh, that one. Oh, it's mostly the sounds. The sounds are creepy. But we're back here. Did we get another key? I think we did. Okay, how do I look at my inventory again? So I guess the bronze key opens two different doors. So we're going to go look at the other bronze door. Sure. Alright. Here we go. Another section. Okay. This looks interesting. An angel-like statue. Okay. So I'm going to avoid that blood, because I am assuming that someone dies there, and there is a person in front of an easel. A wave. A rising wave of artistry stirs within me. My arm is a divine tool creating life with brush and paint. It is my duty to paint life's beauty on the white surface. Someone, anyone will do. Bring me paint, the root of life, to me. Sounds good. And then I'm guessing I get to go through that door. Alright, so I'm going to avoid that blood again. Choose wisely. The, um, are you gonna trick me? Can I just move these things around? No? Is this me choosing wisely? <laughs> A decorative shield on display. These things terrify me for some reason. Right? Many broken and dirty bottles line the shelves, but there's one clean one. Let's take it. Mishiro took the not-too-dirty bottle and wiped the dust. Okay, let's look at this other shield. A decorative shield on display. Crack for me? It's probably gonna crack and then just scare me. Oh, oh, remember where you're going, Danny. Did I get anything from this? Just the, just the bottle? Alright, so I have a bottle. I am the living painting, Julia Maria. I can speak, and even blood, blood runs through me. That hardly holds any meaning in this lonely place, but at least stay with me for a bit, dear. Let's use knife, and then I guess take that as... The paint? Okay! You! You! How could you? For what? Red drips pour out from the painting. Empty bottle. Mishiro collected the painting's blood in the empty bottle. Mishiro got red paint. D don't try to tell me. You did this for that? The painting fell silent. That makes me feel bad. I'm really sorry. Okay. I think she's angry at me. Okay. That was that was kind of creepy. Damn. The red paint was snatched away. Good, good. But not yet. I lack the colors for full expression. But more, more. Bring more paint. The root of life. Sounds good. Save again, so I don't have to do that creepy stuff again. Right. 
I feel like I can die in multiple ways here. The container is full of an ordinary water-like liquid. The fireplace quietly lights up the room. I feel like I can hear like footsteps. up after yourself. Okay. Don't be greedy. Alright. Old plank. One empty. And one empty. So we're just going to take one plank. And... Okay. That killed me. Let's try this again. That one won't be able to hold me up again. There are many broken and dirty bottles lining the shelves, but there's just one clean one. Let's take it. Oh wait, I don't need that gold. Can I put it down? It said don't be greedy. I'm gonna die. This isn't going to be good. So let's just take the one plank. Not that. And then, do not be greedy. Just going to take the bottle. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, there we go. That is how we do- oh no, that is not how we do. I needed to clean up after myself. So how do I clean up after myself? Yes. So I'm going to remove the wood plank and put it back here. And they let me live. Okay got this figured out. So, but where am I going to get the paint? Is it the water? But it's just ordinary water. Alright, we poured the water on the fire. The fireplace went out, and the room fell into darkness. Okay, I did. Out after that. shift. Okay, now we're good. We're out here and we're going to see what this guy is going to do with all this paint. Oh, I, I think I already saved. Okay. Someone, anyone will do. Bring me paint, the root of life to me. Black paint. Okay. Ooh, ooh, that's it. Black paint. The black paint was snapped away. Good, good. But not yet. I lack the colors for full expression. Okay. What else is there? Oh, there's more doors. I didn't even notice. Silent.
I'm guessing I have to avoid him. This is scary. They're gonna do like a loud noise at me. So it looks like he just does the same thing over and over again. East. Where am I trying to go to? Okay, at least it wasn't loud. Gosh, this thing like creeps me out. Okay, I don't know what alerted him there. Okay, so he does look diagonally. How am I gonna do this? Oh, okay, so there's a passageway over there. Fudge! Alright, so I will just show you guys when I, uh, when I finally get down that hallway. Okay, so I can't come down the hallway, which is nice. So I just booked it. The shelves only have broken and dirty bottles. There's nothing on these dilapidated shelves. One of the sacks contains a bottle of something blue. Let's take it. I feel like something bad's going to happen. Who are you? Get out of here. So, that was harder than I thought. Fudge. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, I got that one. I got it. Oh my gosh. Fuck that. Fuck. Oh no. Gosh. I kinda... It's almost just like footsteps that like freak me out the most and just like... Oof. I'm not gonna feel good for a little while. I think it was mostly because when I was growing up my dad thought it'd be funny and that uh, whenever I was walking up the stairs to my room he would like make this loud like animal noise and like stomp his feet behind me like up the stairs and it just oh it's terrifying footsteps are not are not funny scary but yeah this is all the time that i have for recording today thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you next time don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below if you like too so thank you so much have a great night oh my gosh you're just crawling where are you going? What are you doing? I wish I could help you. What's going to happen? Just picks him up like a little babe. Like, okay, here we go.